All right, how's everybody doing today? I got a couple packages in the mail um, on Thursday, and uh, I'm gonna open it up. As you can see, this is the Eagle uh, Rod Piston and Ring Set. This is my stroker kit. Get this thing open. Looks like Christmas came early for me. That's some strong tape. All right. Got that guy open. Let's see what all is in here. This appears to be something important. Ah, some good, uh, some Butler stickers. Definitely gonna need them. Uh, assembly, pre-assembly tip page. Another Butler sticker. Another one. And it's my packing slip that says what the uh, what the stroke and everything is that I ordered. It basically, yeah, it's the packing list. Um, and then this, try not to show personal information here, but um, it says here that they were balanced. Uh, the uh, crankshaft was balanced, uh, balanced at a falling weights. And they have pins and rings and everything else listed. I have a scale, and I'm planning on balancing them myself, um, just to, for practice. Not that I don't trust that what they did, but I'd like to know um, that I can come up with the same numbers as they did. There's four pairs of must be bearings. Read. Yeah, looks like bearings, some more bearings, yeah, cleavite bearings. Um, these are connecting rods. Oh yeah, look at this. And it comes with, yeah, uh, Eagle sent along some, uh, some vinyl stickers also. Assembly lubricant. The uh, stats on the on the rods. Um, okay, so the rods are no longer in the plastic bags. They're just laying in here, but not in the plastic bag, I suppose, because they were balanced. But wouldn't you put them back in the bag? Is it just me, or does that seem like something a person would do? I suppose they do so many of these a day, they don't have time to do that. Just seems kind of odd they wouldn't put it back in the plastic bag. But anyway, they're all packaged real nice, um, spaced apart. They've got the they've got the um, ARP fasteners in them already, um, so you don't lose them. So they're there already. All right, let's take a look at this other one. Back over here. Slide it down, but very carefully. Here we go. Let's see what's in this box. All right. So, got some more stickers. Um, kind of explains what all's in here. It's got the pistons, the... Uh, The rings, the wrist pins, they're all here. I imagine the assembly lube is in here also, although these are the lock rings for it. These are the pins. Yep, pretty. Those are nice. Look really good. 
I'll put them back in the packaging. I won't take them out till I actually need them. This one should be the rings then. Yep. Bunch of rings in here. And then, of course, last but not least, the actual pistons. Um, so I bought 22cc deep um, dish pistons uh, to help kind of uh, make up for uh, my compression issues I'm probably going to have because I have such a uh, um, would be a high compression engine without the without the dish in here. So um, no, those are pretty. Those are real raw. You can tell it's CNC. You can see the path. Uh, those are real nice. So oh. can't wait to can't wait to assemble this. It's gonna be fun. And we'll put uh, let's put the box back together. Let them sit here so they don't get damaged. I've got the crank in another box. It's pointless taking that out because it's just going to be the crank. I um, believe this is all the bearings for everything that I need. Unless that's just the rod bearings, it might be some stuff in with the crank also. Um, not too concerned about that. Um, all right, so that's about it for today. I've got a uh, box with the crank uh, out in the uh, the other room. I brought it in so it's at room temperature at least for right now. I don't want it to get uh, temperature cycles and get moisture and stuff out in the garage. Um, as I get more parts in, I'll keep you guys up to date uh, as to what we're doing. I should hope, hopefully now that I have the pistons, I'm going to get a hold of the machine shop and see where they're at. Then I can get these up to them to make sure that they bore everything out um, to the correct size. Uh, go over some of the numbers of seeing what they found with my with my block. Make sure everything was as, as good as I hoped it was going to be. And we'll go from there. Again, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.